Hello, my name is Günther Schäfer. I'm a photographer and artist from Berlin. We are here in my studio in the district Friedrichshain and I want to introduce you my work. This here is um, a piece of my long-term Berlin photo project. This project has started in the first week of the Berlin Wall Crumble 89 and uh, shows the whole development of the city until the present. And it will be also part of my uh, US exhibition tour 2014 um, through uh, different federal countries in the US and uh, through uh, different museums in America. And uh, for example this piece is um, two meters by three meters on canvas and uh, one of five pieces it shows the opening of the Berlin Wall at Brandenburg Gate. This was a very high uh, symbolic act for all Berliners and Germans and also it was a very very great day for freedom, peace and togetherness of the whole nation. We are here in my dark room. I'm still working in analog 2. Well, I prefer a combination between digital and analog because both mediums got advantages and um, in this classical medium is the advantage the quality of the papers and the character of the paper. The surface of the paper um, is very very uh, um, gentle and uh, it got a, a very special vibration. An amateur can feel it in an exhibition and a um, professional see it of first look. And so um, the quality for things of my heart is uh, the analog medium and when I work fast I use uh, the digital medium. And the contain of the pictures here is uh, also from the long-term photo project. For example, this shows also uh, pictures from the wall opening at Brandenburg Gate. And I like these two motifs very much. Um, this here is like a portrait of the Brandenburg Gate. And uh, it is the gate with the wall in front. The problem uh, for taking this shot was uh, the distance between the wall and the gate. Uh, um, it was uh, maybe 100 meters and um, around this area uh, were 100,000 of people. So, so I were forced to wait uh, maybe four hours for a free space in front of the gate. Then I had a chance to take this shot. This one here shows the opening day of the gate and uh, it was a very raining day and I called it Tears of Joy from Heaven. One of, m of my important pieces. So we stand now here on one of my objects. It is an, a collage um, of different items, original items of the Berlin Wall. I collected all these pieces on a travel from Berlin to my uh, family home in Franconia. Franconia is in Bavaria and this shows my view as a uh, little child when I was eight years from the west side to the east side. This sign here was, uh, this is a border sign of um, West German border guard. It means stop here is a border 
and um, I look at 28 years to design and uh, I uh, drove from Berlin to Franconia for picking up this piece for creating this work and it shows um, it means Warntafel. Warntafel means in German nuts. It is a word game because normally it called Mahntafel and Mahntafel is a, a sign of warning and so I um, turned the W, the M to a W and uh, so we had an ironical different meaning. The object, the subtitle is made in Germany. These are original pieces, steel and parts of the fences of the East German border running through whole Germany. Metals and emblems of the East German border got like this or this and um, in general uh, is it a combination between um, my intention and original parts of history. The second intention to work in uh, collages, object collages is um, the old hunt of every painter, of every photographer for the third dimension. Now in my paintings uh, I, uh, I'm always looking for the third dimension or uh, I try with a lot of visual tricks to smuggle the third dimension in the photos and in paintings too and here I have directly the effect of the third dimension. So between my paintings and my photography um, I create the objects. This is the second reason to do that. This photo is a very special one in my private uh, collection because it shows the photo number one in a special series uh, of Jack Point Charlie because um, it is under the motto Neue Zeit. Neue Zeit, this sign on the top, means new era. It was a uh, original um, advertising, an old advertising of an East German newspaper, but I used it uh, for a symbol of this new era after the fall of the Berlin Wall. And it shows an East German border guard, uh, and this is a novum on the west side. He left. Uh, his um, territory and crossed uh, the famous white line, the, the famous border line uh, at Checkpoint Charlie uh, for a conversation with a visitor of West Berlin. This was uh, happened after one week of the fall of the Berlin Wall and in the past, a week before, so he would provocate a lot of diplomatic uh, conflicts and uh, I think it was uh, one week before absolutely impossible. This scene and also uh, so I use this photo as the start of a special series. This one is very special for me because uh, I took this photo uh, January 1st, 2000. That means it was my very, very first photo in the new millennia. And uh, the contain is also interesting because uh, this sign or this uh, means Sie verlassen jetzt die Gegenwart uh, in English. You are leaving the present now. This was a uh, simple um, advertising but uh, for me uh, a high symbolic meaning because these people are um, going out of the photo. So uh, it means also uh, they are going out of the present now. And this was uh, the very, very best um, final photo for the book what I've published. This one here, 11 years before, is also um, of the, uh, one of the series of the opening of the Brandenburg Gate and it will be part also uh, of all the exhibitions on the US tour. 
This photo, one of my next favorites, shows uh, the counterpart of the photo number one of the series, Neue Zeit, a New Era at Checkpoint Charlie. And uh, you can see uh, the damages at the wall. Uh, I took it a half year uh, later than the photo number one. And uh, it shows this American GI as a novum of him because he. Uh, stands on the other side of the white line and um, took this piece from the wall and the smile in his face um, shows that this act of him is not uh, the doing of an, a tourist who is picking up an ordinary uh, souvenir because this guy is very satisfied, satisfied it, and it shows uh, in his face the smile of Muena. And uh, a lot of people from the West side like this very much. This row shows the standard size of the US exhibition tour. Every picture is framed in aluminium, uh, 50 by 60 centimeters. Uh, every uh, exhibition got between 70 and 100 pieces in this size. So we have here the next uh, three-dimensional object again. Uh, it looks first of all very harmless. Uh, the surface is um, created with original coins of East Germany. This currency is completely gone. But behind this harmless, harmless surface is another thing. This is Eric Honecker. This is the last leader of East Germany and uh, also the constructor of the Berlin Wall. Uh, these are original parts, uh, uh, cement of the Berlin Wall, steel of the wall, and this box called Honey Box. And um, he looks a little bit sick uh, because I picked this uh, picture from an uh, old school in uh, Erfurt, the city Erfurt. Um, it's the um, capital of the federal country Thüringen and it was hanging 27 years or so. And uh, so um, some people got at home um, a check in the box. I have a dictator in the box and I save him for all times. <laughs> This work, one of my other favorites, shows the rest of a dismantled watchtower uh, directly at Brandenburg Gate. And it is, um, for me, a very important photo because it's taken on January 1st, 1990, um, in the morning after the biggest uh, party in Berlin. This was the um, First New Year's Eve in uh, Berlin after uh, the wall crumble, and four uh, million people um, were around uh, the area of Brandenburg Gate for celebration. This first New Year's Eve in uh, togetherness, and um, a lot of people climbed uh, to the watchtower and damaged it. And uh, so it was necessary to dismantle it um, immediately in the night. And next morning uh, I took this photo and uh, it shows the, the top of the watchtower, the rest. And so it is also um, a photo um, with, um, with a, uh, a symbolic character. This here is my studio for digitalizing of my archive and office. Currently I'm working on digitalizing of a lot of negatives for the US tour for the construction of my uh, new website. I have uh, maybe for the themes um, 500,000 negatives and normally I need a second life for this work. This is the start side of my new homepage. It uh, got a 
big big dimension with a lot of sections for an example a big block of Eastside Gallery like my work Fatherland a big block of the studio big block of the photographic project and so on this shows the next favorite of the large size photos and it's a very special one um, because this is a memorial stone of an unknown anonymous um, escape victim it's directly at river spray on the bank of the district kreuzberg we had in the early 2000 years um, um, district uh, fusion between the west district Kreuzberg and the east district Friedrichshain and the bridge in the background is the so-called Oberbaumbrücke and it was in the past a uh, checkpoint uh, and today is it the only uh, connection, traffic connection between these two uh, combined districts and uh, it happened this uh, situation with a with the vision on top uh, it happened um, only a few weeks after the district reform here in Berlin and it symbolizes uh, the togetherness of uh, of two districts um, who was uh, enemies in the past and uh, this is one of uh, my nicest symbols of the reunification here in Berlin. This is one of three uh, shipping boxes especially created for going with my photo project on the road. And it was all already uh, in many different countries and um, it makes the traveling with this um, big work much easier because uh, every picture is safe. Next example, photo of the Brandenburg Gate with the damaged wall in front. The sign mean entry exit. This shows a very strange uh, situation in Berlin history. It was a, a short, a very short thing because uh, GDR uh, administration uh, constructed on the left and on the right side of Brandenburg Gate an entrance and an exit for um, all the visitors when you um, were going around at once of the Brandenburg Gate uh, they gave you in your passport a um, uh, stamp for, for the entrance and for the exit and um, the absolutely strange result is here my passport so I by going around the gate maybe 10 times so I have my more than 20 stamps in my passport what a young man That's a great final of our small movie. I will introduce you uh, the book to the project I published. I decided for 110 of my most favorite photos and I will bring it to the United States and it will be part of the US tour. Hope we see us again in America. Auf Wiedersehen.